Okay, here we're going to find the derivative of, of a polynomial function. Um, we're going to start off with a simple example. of uh, 5x to the power of 4. So, what you do here, it's fairly simple. You bring the exponent down and multiply it by the term attached to the x and subtract 1 from the exponent. So it's basically like this. You multiply that term. So what we get here is, and don't forget to subtract 1 from the top term, the exponent. <clears throat> so what we get, get here is of course, 5 times 4 is 20x to the power of 3. I'm going to do a few more examples um, here. Okay. Let me just bring uh, the prime of y is... 12 x 11 simple another example f of x equals let's say negative 4x square okay so this is the step you bring the 2 down, multiply it by 4x, subtract 1 from the exponent, so making it a 1, but we don't usually put the 1 there, so we'll leave it out, and f prime of x will equal negative 8x. Another example, let's do something a little more uh, complicated y equals x to the power of 4 take away 6 so exactly the same thing y prime equals 4 times x take away 6 you bring that down of course subtract 1 from the exponent and it becomes a 3. So just multiply it. So you have uh, basically 4x3 because this 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 uh, value doesn't hold an x it gets dropped so this becomes your answer. Okay and another example is P equals 5R to the power of 3, negative 2R, plus 1. So, derivative of that is bring the exponent down, multiply it by this term, we get 15R, subtract 1 from the exponent, 15 r squared okay and um, because this exponent is 1 the r gets dropped so you stay with negative 2 and of course this term has no x or variable attached to it it gets dropped automatically and this is our answer here <clears throat> when dealing with fractions it gets a little more complicated and tricky so but the steps are basically the same let me explain this uh, in a little more detail so here's an example z to the power of 8 plus 1 over 2 
z to the power of 4. Okay, when we have a question like this. Exact same rules. The f prime of z, which is the derivative, you bring the exponent down and subtract 1 from the original exponent, of course. So we have this negative always takes precedence and it goes on the outside. So we have here negative 8 over 1, of course, because we brought that down. And you have to multiply it by the original term, which is 1 over 4 to the power of 7, because we subtract 1 from the exponent. Same thing here. Bring the exponent down. Multiply by 1 over 2. Subtract 1 from the exponent. Same thing here. 8 times 2, because you brought the exponent down. Multiply it by the 2. And of course, subtract 1 from the exponent. <clears throat> and just work this out All right. equals um, 8 or 4 of course z to the power of 7 plus 4 over 2, z to the power of 3, and of course you have to uh, work this out, and 8 times 2 is, I mean negative 8 times 2 is negative 16 to the power of 7, okay, and from here you just, uh, of course you, see, so we have you reduce these terms and uh, you end up with the uh, first negative 2 um, c to the power 7 plus cross those out and of course you get a um, 2z to the power of 3 um, the 16 has no variable attached to it, doesn't contain an x, it gets dropped. And this becomes your final answer.